Dear students, Namaste. Let's start with chapter number 2, Windows 7. In this chapter, we are going to learn features of Windows 7, how to manage files and folders in Windows 7, how to change the views of files and folders, how to group files and folders in Windows 7, and how to describe libraries in Windows 7. Windows 7 is an operating system. So, Windows 7, that is the operating system, gives the computer the ability to interact with the user. It manages computer's memory, controls hardware and software, and helps the CPU in processing. DOS, Windows, Linux are some examples of operating system. Windows is the most popular operating system. It is user-friendly, graphical, colorful, and has different menus. You can run more than one application software at a time. You can easily organize, search, move, and copy files and folders. Windows 7. Windows 7 was created in 2009. This version is different from its predecessor, Windows XP, and is advanced too. Let us see the features of Windows 7. It has new themes, desktop backgrounds and screen savers. It has a new start button and a start menu. The jump list feature lets you view the recently opened files when you right click on the program icon on the task bar. The gadgets provide information and are fun to use. The show desktop button on the taskbar minimizes all open windows and displays the desktop. The sticky notes lets you put reminder notes on the monitor. The shake window feature quickly minimizes every open window except the one you shake. To keep a window open, drag or shake its title bar back and forth quickly. In the next we are going to see the practical demonstration of the features of Windows. Let us see the features of Windows 7. 
first the jump list feature now you can see here the windows ms word program icon then ms pin program icon then vlc player program icons are there now if i want to see the recent files that are open in ms word i will right click on the program icon of word and i can see the three different files that have been recently opened i can click and that file will be open for example clicking this file this file has opened so this is the jump this feature i can view the recent open file next feature is the gadgets gadgets these are the gadgets where you can uh, usually play which is not available in windows xp so let's stop button next this is the show desktop button if i click it then what the programs are open will be minimized if i click it again all the programs which have been minimized will again appear next is sticky notes or the minor notes this i can't show you because it is not supporting in my desktop or in my laptop next is sheet window feature now suppose i want to see this syllabus break up month wise 2021 and i want to close the remaining in open applications so what i will do i will place the mouse on the title bar left click and then shake it so what happened all the remaining windows or the applications that have been open are minimized this is the shake window feature files and folders file a file is a collection of related information different files are represented by different icons a file name consists of two parts the name of the file and the extension it form as it its format is file name dot extension different files have different extensions for example dot txt represents text file next dot pptx represents powerpoint file and dot docx represents the document file etc folder a folder is a place that stores related files and other folders it is created to organize files on a computer a folder is also represented by icons but all the folder icons look alike only we can identify folders folder icons by their name here you can see some icons of different files and folders see the list it is a word file pollution this is a powerpoint file see the icons how they look different whereas in folder so this is a class 5 folder and this is a new folder the icons of the folder looks alike but it can be differentiated with the help of their names managing files and folders a program called windows explorer lets you manage files and folders on a computer windows explorer helps you see how the files are organized you can also copy move rename group and change the view of files and folders in windows explorer windows explorer the windows explorer window is divided into two parts left pane and right pane left pane is called the navigation pane it displays a list of storage media of your computer or list of folders in that storage media the right pane is called the file list pane it displays the content of the current hard disk or folders selected in the left pane
Now we are going to see the practical demonstration of opening Windows Explorer and how to work with the Windows Explorer. We will see how to open Windows Explorer. First, click on the Start button. Then, click on All Programs. Then, go to Accessories. Open it by clicking. And then, search for the Windows Explorer. Click it. So, this is the Windows Explorer. In Windows Explorer, it has two parts. The left side, this is known as your navigation pane and the right side, this is known as the file list pane. For example, I am clicking on local disk C. So here I am seeing the particular file or directories which are there in the local disk. So I am clicking on user, you can double click on user, then you can see what are different again files or folders in the users. You can click on picture to see the pictures, videos, to see the different videos which are available in this computer. So this is the Windows Explorer. Dear students, I am sure you have understood something. Practice yourself. Your understanding will be more clear. This is the end of our today's class. Thanks. Have a nice time. Bye. See you in the next class. Till then, practice.